Hello everyone and welcome to today's viewing of Kimball the White Lion. Before we get started, my GoFundMe is down below in case you want to make a donation. Anyway, uh, let's get started. Episode 30. Mm, only 22 more episodes to go. Kimball the Mutant Lion. Look at that mouse-like head. Speaking of which, I really should uh, get to uh, making him an impossible creatures, but since there's no mouse, I'll have to use a rat's head. Actually, that just causes me to wonder what does have the stronger um, bite, the rat or the lioness? Adventure in the City. What kind? Modern, ancient? What are we looking at here? I guess this long trip is tiring for you, Uncle Beckwith. Don't be impertinent. I'm not tired. It's just that Kimba's jungle is so far away. Now that you rested, shouldn't we be on our way? You haven't I seen him in a while. He's another king, you should uh, be trying to respect him or treat him respectfully. Alright, everyone. Be in your best behavior. Hello, Kimba. Oh, Kitty. Welcome to our jungle. Did you have a good trip? I'm hot. Uncle Speckle Rex, what do you think of Kimba's jungle? Hmm. Hmm. I mean, more than a, hmm, hmm. I wouldn't say I'm impressed with your jungle. Why? You want to know why? I'll tell you what's the matter, Gimba. It's dull. That's not the way a jungle should be. Look how clean everything is. Oh. And everything is so peaceful and quiet, I might fall asleep. But we want our jungle to be peaceful. The trouble is nobody's proud of their wild heritage anymore. I'll show this younger generation what a wild lion is really like. Come with me. And what exactly are you going to be doing? Everyone's gotten soft living a peaceful life except me. <sighs> Suppose you can keep up with me, Kimba. I apologize for my uncle's behavior, Kimba. He just wants to prove that he's not growing old. Humor him, please. I'll make him feel 25 years younger. Uh, that's long, that's more than a lion's lifespan in the wild. Uh, he's, he, he's got shorter legs than you do. I'm no match for you. Of course not. Any more tests you want to try? That'll be enough for now. Get it! Uh-oh. Oh, you were faking all along. That you were so. faking all along because you thought I was too old to win on my own, right? Well, I don't need any charity from you, understand? Kitty, I'm going back home. You really messed it up. The nerve of some white lion treating me like an old relic. <laughs> What's that? Oh, it's one of those humans. Hmm. I wonder what he's doing sneaking around here. Mercy is just taking pictures. I'll scare him a little. I'll show everyone how old I am. You getting some good pictures for the exhibition, Don? Sure am, Pop. <laughs> Ah, uh, what is this character design not kind of familiar? Yeah. Well, teach them. Wait a minute, 
Bucky, are you positive about this? He's following them to the city. Who? <laughs> He's not your uncle. Why are you... Yeah, whatever. Speckle Rex is probably old before he is wise. can fly, uh, could have him search from the air. I have a feeling they've already spotted your uncle in the city. I'm pretty sure they haven't caught him. Kimber, this way. I picked up his trail. That sound that looks like a bit uh, that looks a bit like overkill. All right, come out of there, you all will fire. Hurry, Uncle, hurry. <laughs> A train. He's probably never seen one before. I could have sworn that lion came this way. So, this business trip came up very suddenly. No. I'm sure everything's all right, Pop. Um, it's not just a random character, or it's not just a random character. He's important for the plot. And what is going on with Kitty? Uh, I swear she's a bit off model this episode. Yeah, uh, it's really going in your favor, Speckled Rex. It's really, really going in your favor. We lost track of him. Oh, there he is, Kimba. Oh. Stay here. I'll try to catch up with him. No 
music is really good in this one. to run away screaming. The best fight in anime ever. Oh, it's cold up here. Huh? Who's that? Well, clip my mane and call me Baldy. And so when you shot at me. The end of the series, they're all dead. Nope. Yeah, I just realized what was said. <laughs> before tasting it. How does that make sense? I waited 20 years to get you water, Scott Free. 
And it's been worth it. You tried your best to ruin me. You stole money from where we worked and tried to make it look as if I had done it. And then you ran away, didn't you? Well, I proved that I was innocent. And from that moment, I swore I'd find you. Thought you'd get away scot-free. Pop, wake up. Are you all right? I'll be all right, Don. Pop, what's this all about? Who is this man? I'm afraid I can't tell you, my boy. He's drunk. Hmm, looks like he's sobered up a bit. No, no. A rare spotted lion will make quite an attraction at the zoo, won't he, Pop? <laughs> I'll teach that human to take a shot at me. Hey, wait a minute. What is this? Who put these bars in front of me when my back was turned? Hold on tight. This will take us on board. Alex is, my cat Alex has come to join us. Impossible for him. Oh, the humans are coming! Ah, uh, cartoon Please, logic. Calm down your uncle, Kitty. I'll try and stop them. Why, this is the same old man that was threatening Pop on the train before. I'd better take him to the cabin with me. Don! Pop, help me get this man into bed. He's been hurt. He got quite a bump on the head, but I think he'll be all right by the time he wakes up. And when he does wake up, he'll tell my son what I am, a thief. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. I didn't mean to get you all whacked. Pippa, I found him! Oh! <laughs> It's not your uncle.
That was quite the episode, some chances for off model, um, it was very wild, very crazy, but anyway, not bad, not bad. Until next time!